the double tap gesture on the latest Apple Watch Ultra 2 and Series 9 is a bit useless. There are just not enough use cases in real life. Luckily, I was able to improve it and even add the double tap gesture on almost all unsupported Apple Watch models, like Series 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. Fasten your seat belts, because in this video I will show you some crazy tricks that you can perform using the double tap and double clamp gestures on your Apple Watch. So as you already probably know, the double tap gesture on the Apple Watch is nothing new. This feature has been there for years, since WatchOS 8, and has been called Assistive Touch. Originally, it was developed for people with physical disabilities to control and use their Apple Watch. Nowadays, Apple is trying to advertise it as a new groundbreaking technology of the new Apple Watch models, but it's not. It's just another marketing scam from Apple. This is kind of funny because when you activate assistive touch on the latest Apple Watch models, it will automatically disable the double tap feature, which is exclusive to the latest models. So finally, even Apple admits that this feature is not new, it's just another way to force you to buy a new Apple Watch. But don't get fooled, because these gestures do work on all Apple Watch models, even on my old Series 7. Ok, let me show you how to activate it. On your Apple Watch, go to Settings, Accessibility, scroll down and find Assistive Touch, turn it on. Go to Hand Gestures. You have four of them, Tap, Double Tap, Clench and Double Clench. Tap on the double tap gesture and scroll down. Here you will see a list of available actions. You can choose any standard action like open notifications or access control center. But if you scroll down, you'll find shortcuts. Here's where the magic happens. Shortcuts is a visual scripting application developed by Apple that allows users to run predefined actions automatically. Using double tap or double clan gestures, I can trigger any of my shortcuts right on my wrist. I recommend disabling the single tap and single clan gestures because you can trigger them by accident and it's quite annoying. Finally, go back to assistive touch settings and select none as the activation gesture trigger. Also turn off the visual signal. Now you can test your gestures. In my case, a double tap gesture instantly opens a tiny Safari web browser on my wrist. I can quickly google something right on my Apple Watch. It's a super handy shortcut. Alternatively, you can assign to the double tap gesture opening music app or any other app of your choice. Just download my open app shortcut. Long press on it and select edit. Choose the app of your choice, for example music. Then go back to gesture settings on your Apple Watch and assign open app shortcut you've just added. Once you will double tap with your fingers, it will immediately open the app of your choice. It works like magic. If you want to try some of my shortcuts, like always on Display Assistant, Play Menu, Navigation Assistant or Google Translate, the download links will be available in the description. You can download and use them for free. Enjoy! My last idea for the double tap gesture on the Apple Watch, which can be pretty useful, is to assign some custom HomeKit scenes, like turning lights on or off. The double clench gesture on my Apple Watch launches my magic shortcut. But this is a topic for a separate video. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Now you know how to finally make some use from the double tap gesture on your Apple Watch or even activate this feature on unsupported watches if you have an older model like Series 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8. If you found this video useful, please share it with your friends and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in the shortcuts, be aware that I made a whole series of videos on that topic as well. There are so many crazy shortcuts that you can run on your iPhone or Apple Watch. Check it out on my channel. Thanks again for watching and see you next time on YouTube. Bye bye.